Wang Yebo's luxury way of relaxing, wearing a suit while mountain climbing, leaving fans in shock and laughter. Wang Yebo's unique style of relaxation, suit up for mountain climbing. Wang Yebo, the multi talented actor and singer, never fails to surprise his fans. Recently, after an entire day of anticipation, he finally posted an update for the Vogue THN HDN event, and it was far from what anyone expected. While most people associate relaxation with lounging around or engaging in calm activities, Wang Yebo has his own idea of what chilling means, dressing up in a formal suit and heading off for a mountain climb. The image of him donning a sharp, tailored suit while casually strolling up a mountainside is a far cry from the typical sporty gear one would imagine. But if anyone could pull off such an eccentric and daring look, it's Wang Yebo. Known for his unpredictable choices and bold fashion statements, he consistently defies conventional expectations. Whether he's on a motorbike, performing jaw-dropping dance moves, or hitting the stage, Yebo keeps his audience on their toes, and this time, he's done it with his relaxation attire. Fans were left in awe and in stitches as the photos surfaced, showcasing him scaling the scenic hills in full formal wear, looking effortlessly stylish. The humor in his unexpected choice of attire adds yet another layer to his already captivating persona. It's as if Wang Yebo is saying that adventure and sophistication can go hand in hand, and he's the perfect embodiment of that concept. This latest appearance is a reminder that Wang Yebo thrives on unpredictability. His ability to merge high fashion with adventurous spirit speaks volumes about his fearless approach to life. He challenges norms, not just in his career but in his personal style, too. Fans have come to realize that with Wang Yebo, nothing is ever ordinary. While most of us might kick back in comfy clothes after a long day, Yebo proves that even the most relaxed moments can be elevated into something extraordinary. This unique combination of refinement and ruggedness further cements his place as a fashion icon and trailblazer. Wang Yebo's unconventional yet humorous choice shows that he's not just climbing mountains, he's redefining how to do it with class. In the ever-evolving world of Chinese television, several genres have captured the attention of viewers, with urban dramas, spy thrillers, and suspense series each carving out a niche. Amid the rise of these gripping narratives, one genre remains a steadfast favorite among audiences, period dramas. However, as the excitement surrounding such historical narratives continues, there are concerns that the quality of period dramas may be declining, even with star-studded casts and talented directors. One production currently facing this challenge is Splendid Peace, led by director Mai Guanzi and featuring rising star and minimum. The period drama genre, known for its lavish costumes, intricate storylines, and historical depth, has seen immense success over the years. Productions like Fragrance of Darkness and Ink Rain Between have set the standard high with their mix of revenge, reincarnation, and political intrigue. These dramas are not only about transporting viewers back in time but also providing them with emotional narratives that explore timeless human struggles. In this context, the upcoming drama Splendid Peace has been heavily promoted, with trailers and promotional images teasing a mesmerizing blend of these popular themes. Ren Min, who plays the lead role of Luo Yanning, a privileged and intelligent lady, has been the focal point of much discussion. The trailer for Splendid Peace has certainly piqued viewers' interest, showcasing Ren Min in a role that highlights both her grace and intelligence. A departure from the more traditional, naive characters often portrayed in period dramas. This shift in character development is refreshing, offering an opportunity for Ren Min to redefine her image within the period drama landscape. However, despite the initial excitement, doubts have arisen over Ren Min's ability to pull off a convincing performance in this genre. These concerns are not without precedent. While Ren Min has proven herself in modern dramas like Days of Chasing Light, where her acting skills and on-screen presence were widely praised, her track record in period dramas has been more mixed. 
Some critics have pointed to her inconsistent performance in earlier historical roles, questioning whether she can meet the expectations that come with starring in a high-profile production like Splendid Peace. One of the major points of contention is her appearance in period costume. While promotional images have depicted Renmin as a stunningly rejuvenated beauty, there have been murmurs about the discrepancy between these heavily edited photos and her actual on-screen presence. It's a reminder of the complexities of the entertainment industry, where promotional campaigns can sometimes create unrealistic expectations. In the case of Splendid Peace, the concern is that Renmin's polished image in the trailers and photos may not fully translate into her performance, especially when placed alongside her more experienced co-stars. The pressure on Renmin is palpable, not only because of her own acting challenges but also due to the competitive nature of the drama landscape. Period dramas, while beloved, are no longer the sole front runners in television. Urban dramas like Ordinary Song by Noon Sunshine have gained tremendous traction for their real-life relatability. Ordinary Song stands out as an urban drama that has resonated with viewers for its honest depiction of real-life struggles, providing a counterpoint to the more romanticized and often fantastical world of period dramas. This shift indicates that audiences are increasingly drawn to stories that reflect their own lives and challenges, which could pose a threat to the continued dominance of period dramas. Moreover, other genres have emerged as strong contenders for viewers' attention. Suspense thrillers like Edge of Waters, featuring captivating performances by Guo Killen and Jiang Kiming, have garnered praise for their intricate plot lines and well-developed characters. The spy genre has also made a resurgence with dramas like Night and Dawn, lauded for its stellar acting and logical storyline. These shows cater to audiences hungry for more than just historical escapism, and the success of these modern dramas further raises the stakes for period dramas like Splendid Peace to deliver something extraordinary. It is within this context that the future of Splendid Peace hangs in the balance. Ren Min's portrayal of Luo Yanning will be closely scrutinized, not just for her performance but for her ability to hold her own in the highly competitive genre. The fact that Ren Min has excelled in modern dramas but struggled in period pieces adds to the intrigue surrounding this production. Will she rise to the occasion and redefine her place in the industry? Or will Splendid Peace fall short of expectations? Director Mai Guanzi, known for his work on Chinese Paladin, is no stranger to the period drama genre, and his involvement gives some hope that Splendid Peace will succeed despite the concerns. However, the drama's ability to stand out will likely hinge on whether Ren Min can shake off her past struggles in period dramas and deliver a performance that meets the high standards set by both the industry and the audience. Ultimately, Splendid Peace serves as a litmus test not only for Ren Min but also for the future of period dramas. As audiences become more discerning in urban dramas, suspense thrillers, and spy dramas continue to thrive, it's clear that period dramas can no longer rely solely on elaborate costumes and historical settings to captivate viewers. They need strong narratives, relatable characters, and standout performances to compete in a crowded and evolving television landscape. As for Ren Min, the question remains, can she successfully navigate the challenges of the period drama genre, or will her modern drama successes overshadow her attempts at historical roles? Only time, and her performance in Splendid Peace, will tell.